Hi everyone! Our topic for this video is about the long method of dividing polynomials. First example, we have x squared plus x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. So, bago ang lahat, i-review muna natin yung mga terms na kailangan natin tandaan para mas makasunod tayo sa discussion. Itong nasa loob na polynomial, yung x squared plus x minus 12, ang tawag natin dyan ay dividend. And then, yung nasa labas, or yung magde-divide doon sa polynomial, ang tawag doon ay divisor. Ngayon, ang first step na kailangan nyo gawin sa pag-divide ng polynomial sa long method ay to divide the first term of the dividend sa first term ng divisor. Ganon palagi yung gagawin natin. So, ang first term ng dividend natin ay x squared at ang first term ng divisor natin ay x. Kaya, yun yung una natin i-divide. Maliwanag? So, kailangan alam natin yung loss of exponents kasi i-apply natin yun dito. So, x squared divided by x, that is x. So, bakit? Kasi nga, ba sa loss of exponents, kapag nag-divide, sinusubtract natin yung exponents. So, ang exponent kasi ng x squared ay 2 at ito naman, x natin ang exponent niya ay 1. Kaya, pag pinag-subtract 2 minus 1, that is 1. Kaya, ang quotient nila or yung sagot pag pinag-divide sila ay x na lang. Kasi, hindi naman visible yung 1 kapag uh, yun yung exponent, ba? And then, after mo makuha yung sagot, na-divide na natin yung first term to first term. etong x na nakuha natin kanina, i-multiply naman natin yan sa lahat ng terms ng divisor. Okay? So, yung x na yan, i-multiply natin kay x, i-multiply din natin siya kay negative 3. So, x times x, that is x squared. And then, x times negative 3, that is negative 3x. After nyan, isusubtract natin yung x squared minus 3x doon sa dalawang terms ng dividend natin. So, subtract na natin. x squared minus x squared, obviously, cancel na yan kasi that is 0. And then, x minus negative 3x, that is positive 4x. Kaya, importante alam natin dapat yung rules of integers para nakakas nakakasunod tayo. After natin mag-subtract, ang next step naman natin ay i-bring down natin yung kasunod na term na hindi pa nagagalaw. So, yung kasunod nating term dito ay negative 12. So, ibababa natin yan. So, ang next expression na natin ay 4x minus 12. So, after nyan, magpuproceed lang ulit tayo doon sa first step na ginawa natin kanina, which is yung i-divide natin yung first term ng dividend sa first term ng divisor. So, ito na kasi yung bago natin expression, yung 4x minus 12. At ang first term ay 4x. Kaya, yun yung i-divide natin sa first term ng divisor na x. So, 4x divided by x, that is positive 4. And then, yung 4 na yan, ganun ulit, i-distribute ulit natin kay x at kay negative 3 or lahat ng terms ng divisor. So, 4 times x, that is 4x. And then, 4 times negative 3, that is negative 12. And then, pagsusubtract ulit natin silang dalawa. Then, obviously, 4x minus 12 minus 4x minus 12, that is 0. Meaning to say, wala tayong remainder at eksakto yung sagot natin. So, ito na yung final answer natin na expression that is x plus 4. Next example, we have 6x cubed minus 10x squared plus 12x minus 20 divided by 3x minus 5. So, ganun ulit yung gagawin natin. First term ng dividend divided by first term ng divisor. So, ang first term natin ay 6x cubed at ang first term naman ng divisor ay 3x. So, 6x cubed divided by 3x, that is 2x squared. And then, yung 2x squared na yan, multiply natin kay 3x, multiply din natin kay negative 5. 2x squared times 3x, that is 6x cubed. Then, 2x squared ulit, times negative 5 naman, that is negative 10x squared. Then, subtract na natin. Ngayon, mapapansin nyo, 6x cubed minus 6x cubed, 0 na yan, so cancel. And then, yung negative 10x squared minus negative 10x squared, cancel din. So, wala tayong sagot doon sa subtraction. Ngayon, kapag ganyang case na mapapansin nyo, walang natira nung nag-subtract tayo, ang kailangan natin gawin ay instead na isa lang yung ibababa nating term, dalawang terms yung ibababa natin. At yung dalawang terms na yun ay yung 12x at saka yung negative 20. So, ang next expression natin ay 12x minus 20 at yun naman yung i-divide natin. So, ang first term naman natin ngayon dito sa dividend natin ay 12x. At yung first term natin ay 3x doon sa divisor. Kaya yun naman yung ipag-divide natin. 
And then 12x divided by 3x, that is positive 4. At yung positive 4 na yan, ayan yung i-distribute naman natin sa lahat ng terms ng divisor. 4 times 3x, that is positive 12x. Then 4 times negative 5, that is negative 20. And then isubtract naman natin ngayon. At mapapasin nyo, 0 din dahil parehas lang naman yan. So obviously, wala tayong remainder. At ang final answer natin ay 2x squared plus 4. Last example natin, 4x raised to 4 plus 16x cubed minus 2x minus 8 divided by x plus 4. So, let us just do the same process. First term natin sa dividend ay 4x raised to 4 at ang first term natin ng divisor ay x. Kaya yun yung i-divide natin. 4x raised to 4 divided by x, that is 4x cubed. And then, 4x cubed times x, that is 4x raised to 4. At yung 4x cubed ulit, ita times naman natin kay positive 4 and that is positive 16x cubed. After nyan, subtract ulit tayo. Ipapansin nyo, 4x raised to 4 minus 4x raised to 4, cancel. And then, eto din, cancel din kasi magkakamukha lang naman sila. So, ang next step natin, ganun ulit, magbababa ulit tayo ng dalawang terms. So, ang bababa natin ay negative 2x minus 8 at yun na yung next expression natin. At ang first term natin ay negative 2x at yun yung i-divide natin sa first term ng divisor na x. So, negative 2x divided by x, that is negative 2. And then, yung negative 2, multiply natin kay x, that is negative 2x. Then, yung negative 2 ulit, imumultiply natin kay positive 4 and that is negative 8. Then, subtract natin. So, papansin nyo, magkamukha ulit. So, eksaktong sagot ulit. And then, our final answer is 4x cubed minus 2.